Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of our course. Today we will talk a little bit about the arrays and the loops. Uh, in the previous lesson we were talking about the HTTP fundamentals, but let's go back to the source code from the lesson one. Uh, when we are talking about the basics structures in PHP. This is the code uh, that we have done in the lesson one. So for the review, let's see what we have here. We have uh, learned how to declare and give the uh, values to simple variables. Uh, we have learned how to do some arithmetical operations, simple, and how to display the values which are under the variables uh, using the echo instruction. So let's do some cleanup here. We will remove the static HTML because we know how to use it. Uh, let's let's see. Okay, the arithmetic operation is not necessary now. We will leave um, the part with the simple variable and displaying the echo instruction. Let's save go here okay there is only this simple variable which is a string actually uh, I mean a, a set of the characters is a string uh, okay so uh, we know the variables but uh, in many times there are necessary in PHP and other programming languages to hold more than one named variable. I mean, we need to save, we need to process the set of similar uh, elements in some kind of container. And those containers we called arrays. Array, array, arrays. There are also uh, some kind of names like the map, uh, the properties list or list in the very generic uh, term. So if you want to declare array in PHP, you do the follows. You give the name of the array because it is also all arrays have, have have to be named first and you use the instruction array which actually builds you the empty array uh, this is not necessary in php because uh, php is not a well typed language but uh, for some um, instructions declaring the variable called ARR uh, or let's we can call it whatever you want for example my array uh, some kind of instructions needs to 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 have the uh, array so declaring array as array and this uh, by these instructions is is simply safe, safe for the uh, PHP built-in functions, uh, which we will be talking in the, the, the next lessons. Okay, and how to uh, add some elements to the array? There is a few kinds of uh, there is a few kinds of process that we can use to add elements. The simplest is to add elements to the array 
at the end of the array, which could be done by the following instruction. Uh, square brackets uh, are used to uh, indicate uh, to the PHP that we are working with arrays. And with you, if you uh, use a square brackets without the argument, without the key, without the index, without any value inside it, it means that you want to add some elements at the end of the array. And you can simply repeat those instructions to three. This, what we have here, it's a set of three commands which actually adds two three elements to the array called my array and those elements are string values which is one two and three uh, of course uh, if you try to echo the array This is not good. This is not uh, a good way because the PHP will try to convert the array into the string, into the simple value, and display only the info that you are handling with array. But accessing to array is not uh, by the uh, simple echo instruction because you need to give the array, the index, the alum, which want you want to get from the array. There is a built-in function uh, used for debugging purposes, actually. If you want to display the whole content of the array, because but this is not where we use the array in the usual way. This is only for debugging purposes, and I will use it this Function. This function is called is print underscore error. Error is a shortcut from array. And how to use the built-in functions in PHP? Uh, from now, um, until now, we haven't used the built-in functions. But the built-in functions, uh, this editor is uh, highlighting uh, at red color, and we use the round brackets uh, which indicates that those command is a function and here we get the argument to the function well, there will be another lesson uh, which uh, will explain you this exactly what the function is and how the functions works but PHP gives you a lot of functions uh, built in which are useful for doing many things. This particular function print error actually displays the elements of the array. I think it's put it to the output, yes. So what do we have in here? This is a string representation of our array. And the value in square bracket is the index of array because we have prepared, we have uh, filled the data of array and this array is a simple index array which means that the keys of the elements are numbered from 0 and increases by 1. This is, you know, a simple index uh, set. So, the first element is the key 0 has the value 1, the next element with index 1 holds the value 2, and the third element, the last one, under the index 2 holds the value 3. And this is how uh, the function print r displays the array, the array which are numbered using uh, simple 
uh, integers values which are starts always from zero and this kind of array uh, also known for model languages are the the simplest yes you know where you don't have to uh, give the keys uh, which are other uh, structures because the structure when you have uh, actually a map map is called the associative array and we will be talking it uh, further but now we will uh, talk about the simple arrays which are numbered by integers by numbers from zero starting from zero always the mm, array uh, starts from zero if you are filling the array if you are adding the elements to the array using the uh, empty square bracket so what we can do with arrays uh, except that we could simply print it and these two slashes instructions uh, at the beginning of the line uh, causes that this is a command this is a command and it won't be processed by the php interpreter so if you want to disable a code when you are learning something you can use a simple com uh, command and the editor will display it as uh, this is disabled this is you can write it anything you want some kind of uh, tips for you some kind of notes and if you want to disable the few a few lines of code you can use it if you want to disable a large uh, block of code you can use another constructions which is slash asterisk and the closing and this means that the all this code will be disabled okay but now let's go back to the arrays and the array we have uh, designed we have prepared and it has three elements uh, how to access the particular element of the array this is very simple we can use our echo instruction give the name of our array open the square bracket and give the index of the array for example zero one one means the second element because as i said before all elements are indexed from zero save go back to screen refresh two okay so we have displayed using the echo instruction we have accessed to the second element of the array and displayed in the, in the screen in the output screen uh, as we expected if we get uh, the first element under the index 0 we get 1 yes so display here and if we get the index 2 we get 3 what will happen if we try to access the element uh, outside the bounds of the array uh, let's do it what will happen nothing actually we don't get the error message from php other languages uh, sometimes for example java c will give you an error and the program will stop in php there is no such uh, uh, constraint uh, you can go through the array and even if you uh, try to get some um, value outside the array you can't, won't get the uh, the error uh, this is because uh, simple arrays and associative arrays are the same in an in implementation level on php so uh, this kind of operation will not cause the error okay so let's um, let's do some more stuff with arrays we know how to 
uh, how to get the values from array uh, we can also um, using the equal uh, instruction using the associate the assigned operator uh, put some 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 values from to get some values from array and assign it to the simple variables so we if we do some kind of command and now using the echo display the value of variable lm we get the um, value from array actually so this is a temporary actually uh, temporary uh, all those variables are temporary because they will be destroyed if the scripts will end but uh, we have taken the value from array at the second the second element from the array uh, and assign it into the variable simple variable the lm is not a array it's a simple variable like a name but we have assigned to the variable lm the value from array and display it okay now we find some useful built-in instructions built-in functions of php to to do more with arrays a very common questions about the arrays is how to get the size how to get the number of elements which are in array at the moment uh, there is a built-in function uh, in php it's called size of and here we get the name of array those spaces here are not necessary but i give it uh, to clean clean the code to be easy to read three those function called size of when, when where there is an argument called my array which is actually the name of our array those function gives you a number of elements in the array if we add more last one the, those values are of course uh, whatever you want uh, but uh, we use it four times so I expect the size of those array will be four and actually yes this is four elements array uh, the size of command function actually this is a function is uh, very useful in many many uh, applications when you are trying to save array or do more okay so we know how to get the size of the array we know that simple arrays starts from zero so is there a kind of structure that we could iterate over the array and for example displays all the values but not using the print her uh, command but uh, to do this in our way in the specified uh, application that we actually need yes there is some kind of instructions those instructions are called loops loops actually is not only useful in iterating over the arrays but in let's see 30 percent of applications of loops is actually moving through the arrays or the part of the arrays or doing some operation with arrays with maps um, in this lesson we will learn the 
simplest loop uh, called for and the the variant with the iterating over the array the struct the syntax of those command do is done by the follows first is the keyword of instruction called for then we use a square bracket this is not a function actually this is an instruction in, in a language and then we give a name of the set of the array of the object that we are iterating over in our case this is my array and then we give uh, we give uh, control co code uh, control instruction called as uh, sorry but we are talking about the for each for each command and for for will be discussed later for is more complex actually for each i think uh, is quite simpler to learn first um, because its syntax is much simpler and easy to understand for the beginners for each my array as and here we give the name of the local variable those variable will be living let's see only inside those loop and we will be iterating over the array so those loop will uh, value let's see those loop will run will go this exactly the same times uh, how many elements are in the array okay so the keyword for each then the round bracket name of the array the keyword as then the name of the variable that we will be using inside the loop and all loops need to start with brackets and end with brackets and all the stuff that goes here is the inside loop loop block this is the inside block loop inside loop block okay uh, so if we start those program actually nothing will happen because we don't give any instruction in uh, except the command of course uh, inside the array but what we can do we can simply use the echo instruction of course and what to display the value and see what will happen uh, i will comment this because it's not necessary now and see what's going on oh, sorry bad window okay okay well we have something nice there is one element the first one, the second, the third, and the last one. So the program, the loop inside the program, it's working, and it's display all the values four times. Actually, how this loop works? This loop is sequently called by the interpreter first for the first value so in the first cycle of the loop under the value variable there will be one because the first number of our array is one in the second cycle of the loop under the value there will be two and then the third cycle will be three and the fourth will be the last one okay maybe let's rename it into the last 
and we are calling uh, we are iterating over the array and display value 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 next to the another so there is no separator there is no uh, display uh, space or something to give us more now let's see friendly output I will echo the simple space over the each cycle of the over the each iteration of the loop save and what we have okay now it's quite uh, nice quite nice because we get one two three and last displayed we can do many things with the, those stuff instead of space we can give a break tag of HTML and voila we get the all, all those elements in a few rows so there is a break over the each element if you really want to check if those loop is displaying and, and iterating four times uh, you can um, add here for example uh, my text and the break and again check oh that's nice one my text two my text three my text last my text so those loop is iterating over the whole array actually whole because those array is uh, declared as fourth element array because we get we add four elements here and now using the for each syntax the for each instruction we are iterating over this array uh, with the variable called value and those value is only used inside the loop which means between those brackets if you use the value outside the loop for example here you will get the last value of the uh, the last element value actually mm, in PHP in other languages you could not even call the uh, value outside the local variable outside the loop but uh, PHP is quite tolerant so you have to watch it okay I think we have discussed enough today uh, we have learned how to declare the array how to add elements at the end of the array how to get a specified element from the array and the last we have learned is how to iterate using the for each structure over the whole array and display the values inside the loop in the next lesson we will continue uh, those fun with arrays because arrays is a very great uh, part of uh, programming languages arrays maps so i hope see you next lessons and try to do some work uh, by yourself at home good luck <laughs>